you know, I think that I can't actually make a brew brew of flowing <laughs> because, yeah, I actually went ahead and double checked the the fish breeding line to get get a blaze fish after I went ahead and set up all this stuff that you see behind me and yeah, there's some stuff in the ocean and some stuff on the beach you need another fish to make a blaze fish I should have guessed that I should have double checked the the breeding stuff for the glowfish but it didn't help that I actually saw it, saw it and thought it was a goldfish at first As far as I'm aware, you can only get the nether fish from the nether, which I don't even know if I can do in the dream world. And yes, I am in creative mode. There, There's a lot of AFKing, even, even with this thing, with this thing that you use to help speed up the egg, the egg laying, egg hatching stuff. Even with that, I'm just going through these. It takes forever to do mariculture. And I actually like the, this mariculture fish breeding stuff. It's actually kind of fun. But when I'm trying to get do just a single quest line, it is not fun. It's not fun at all. So... Since I'm in creative mode, I'm just going to see, can I go to the nether from here? And if I do, does that wake me up from the dream? I, I can harvest obsidian because I have a thombium pick, which was risky to make. Okay, I can, I can open a portal if I go in. Let's see what happens. Huh. This looks absolutely nothing like the nether. <laughs> it seems going through a portal wakes you up. Huh. So how am I supposed to get a blaze rod in the dream realm? Maybe there's an answer with witchery, but I... I just can't think of a way to actually do it. I know that there's a hellish nightmare that you can have. So I wonder, maybe if I can somehow give myself that, because there's like, Dreamweaver of Nightmares, Fasting Iron Arm. I'm going to look into that. If I can, <sighs> I need to do some research. <sighs> nope. I need the Brew of Flowing Spirits to even have a demonic nightmare. So, basically, I think there's nothing I can do to actually get the Brew of Flowing Spirit in the first place. That, that is kind of stupid, isn't it? Oh, why would it be that bad? Unless I can bring the that thread into the dream, like I can bring these icy needles into the dream. Um, it's a possibility. Maybe. I doubt it. But you need to be in the spirit realm to make the brew, right? Or do I make it in the overworld? 
Because I think the quest book said I had to do it in the dream world. See, now, now I'm doubting myself. And you'll need a brute in the spirit world. That's what it says here. Now the thing about the ores remaining attack is absolutely pointless. Grab this. Yep, it confirmed only brew in the spirit world. Okay, so let's grab a piece of fanciful thread and a brew of sleeping and see if I can just bring it. Bodega, frog's tongues, Oz love, grotesque. Erosion. Where's the brew? Combustion, endless water. Huh. There's the fanciful thread at least. Why can't I find brew of sleeping in here? Here it is, brew of sleeping. Alright, uh, let's see if I just bring the thread with me. Nope, didn't think I would. I also have lost everything that was in my inventory. <sighs> you know how much stuff that was? You know what? Screw this quest line. I'm done with it. It's broken. I can't finish it. Again. That is how many quest lines that I've done that I can't finish? <laughs> I'm about done with this mod pack. I, I, kn I know that there's been a few more updates than what I've been able to actually play, but I don't want to do them because I can't carry my world into the other updates because it breaks. My world just doesn't exist in the updates. <laughs> Oh, there we go. I have the stupid brew. I need my reward. I'm, I'm done with that. I've still never had this happen. I'm nowhere near doing that. These quests aren't even unlocked. I don't know how to get to them. I still have no idea how to get a Crucible of Souls. <sighs> you know... Screw it. I, I want to see what those other quests are even going to be. Hooray, I did all those. Now are the other quests unlocked yet? Nope. Let's check these. How about now? 
Still not unlocked, and that says only 53% complete. Fifty-six percent complete. I killed everything. I'm amazing. Nothing. That says I'm only 88% complete. Even though there's no other quests. No other quests there. There's like one quest there. Yep, there's a couple more things that popped up here. A Paradise Oculus. Labyrinthian Thinking. Oh hey, finally something else that uh, opened up. How the world recall recovers. So this opens up wow, you have to get a primordial pearl in order to make in order to get this stuff. So this opens up the ability to actually bring people back into the world through millionaire. What the heck would this even be? Kill Blaze. All killed. Huh. Just so you know, all of these flashing quest things are causing me lag. Click. 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 Still hasn't opened up 14. Click. Click. Well, that would complete all the quests there. It's nothing new here. Still nothing new here. Still nothing new here. So I have no idea what opens up quest chapter 14 because as far as the book is concerned I've done every single quest. So yeah. Uh, I'm done. I'm done with this mod pack. I, I've done quite a lot. I, I could have probably done a lot more factory type stuff to just give myself a, a hilarious amount of supplies far more necessary than what needs be had but that just didn't really fit the style of the pack in my mind <laughs> man I'm, I'm sure that the more up the more recent version of the pack is probably a lot better than what I've been having to deal with for the past month and a half, maybe? I don't even know. But this got really, really, really sucky toward the end, and I hate that. I hate when mod packs are amazing in the beginning and then they just kind of peter out and die. Just because they require you to do a bunch of grindy bullshit which that is the entirety of the brew of flowing spirit quest line in a nutshell because you have to do absolutely everything you've already done before just to even be able to do it and that that's kind of sucky so yeah I'm I'm gonna move on this, this pack was fun. I really enjoyed it. I loved doing all the magic stuff. Witchery was fun to play with. Mariculture was pretty interesting to do. Botania, I loved Botania. Although I'm definitely going to be doing passive flowers live forever from now on. Because I'm tired of having to shove stuff into the flowers. 
to just just be able to do anything with Patania. So overall, I say this is a really good mod pack. Definitely don't play the the version I've been using, which is like 1.8 something. Definitely play the modern packs because it's probably got all the stuff that I've dealt with completely fixed. Not sure if I'm going to take a break from mod packs for, well, from challenge packs for a while or not. Probably not. I like challenge packs too much to pass them up. But I'm definitely going to go with one that doesn't involve rebuilding a whole world. Maybe. <laughs> They all seem to be around rebuilding an entire world. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this series for anyone who's watched it all the way through. Or if you didn't enjoy the series, let me know. I still think this was pretty entertaining, pretty entertaining on my part. So take care, guys. I'll see you in a different, different Minecraft pack. Later, and goodbye.